So this is how we would make sure that which one is uh, the one we need to balance. Typically it's going to be the one that's always on the bottom, uh, but you always want to just double check by, you know, definitely the one on the bottom is heavier. So again, just a piece of basic scotch tape. I'm going to take a piece off and then I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of this blade. So it'll look like this. And now that blade's a little heavier, but it's actually not bad. Um, and what we need to do here is, next is kind of take off the tape that's on the edges. I hope this is all visible on the camera. They say it's invisible tape. Hopefully it's visible on camera or else you just have to trust me that there's actually tape there that I'm cutting off. And now when I look at this and there's still one without the tape that is still a little bit heavier but it's not nearly as strong of a response as last time so I'm going to add another little bit of tape there this time it's going to be smaller because I don't think we need uh, nearly as much as last time let's see what we got, let's put some on and that's definitely heavier now that bit of tape, excess tape off. Yeah, now the bit with the tape is slightly heavier, but I don't think it's going to matter nearly as much as it did before. Now we're going to go test uh, again with some rubber on it, and we'll see if it shakes as much as it did last time. Okay, now we're testing this with the balance prop. There's still some shaking. It still seems to run true, but I'm going to tell you one thing I notice is that there's a lot less shaking than there was in the first time. A little bit is not abnormal, but this is definitely better now than it was uh, the first time we were doing this.